Well, each year, hundreds of children die in car accidents because they are not properly buckled into a car seat. And that's why this week is dedicated to spreading awareness when it comes to child safety seats. And Tess is live this morning in downtown Mesa at the fire department with some very important reminders and some tips. Tess, good morning. Good morning, Tara. That's right. Tips that can save your child's life. That's what this week is all about. And so we're here with the Mesa Fire Department to talk about what is a, a proper seat for your child. Earlier we touched upon the infant size, and now we're going to talk about uh, when they're toddlers or even preschool age. We have Marissa Ramirez Ramos with the fire department this morning here in Mesa, and little Maisie here is serving as our model. She is two years old. What do we need to know about uh, a two year old in a car seat? Okay, she's just about 30 pounds, so she's ready for a forward facing seat, but she definitely needs a seat that would have an inner harness. So she still needs to be strapped in. That way, this inner harness is holding her in place. An inner harness, is that the same thing as a five point harness? Is that what this is also called? Yes, absolutely. A five point harness is the safest harness. Put your head up, sweetie. There you go. Don't want to get your hair or anything caught. Um, we made sure that we had the, sh the straps here either equal or above her shoulder. Okay. And then you can actually tighten this harness right here in front. And we so just you want her snug in there, just as an infant or in any child, snug enough. Uh, do you do the test of the pinching of everything? Yes. If we can pinch like we can on this side and have fabric in between our fingers, it's still too loose. So I would definitely need to continue uh, tightening this harness. Okay. And then we move over here to her brother, Mason, who, by the way, said the camera light is way too bright, so he had to grab his sunglasses. This is a booster seat for an older child, about 40 pounds and up. Yes, this is a booster seat, and it actually has a maximum weight of 100 pounds. Okay. So he has a long time that he can be using a booster seat. This doesn't have an inner harness because he already is at the 40 weight limit, um, and you would just be using the lap and shoulder belt of the vehicle and putting that across. And it actually has two different places right here on the side where you can put the shoulder portion so depending on the height of the child you can adjust it and it has it on both sides because depending on either side of the vehicle that you're putting it in it would still be able to be adjusted either lower or higher as they grow a little bit taller. And something folks should know Arizona is one of three states in the United States that do not have this older child booster seat law. After the age of five there's no regulation or requirements. Is that true? That's why we stress that children stay in a booster seat because now they're making booster seats up to 100 pounds, a five-year-old, even an eight-year-old might not weigh anything close to the 100-pound mark. So definitely continue the use of your booster seat either to the maximum weight or the height limit that the child, whichever one the child would reach first. And if folks don't know uh, what the car seat show, uh, shows here on every car seat, there is information that you can read. Absolutely. There should be a sticker on the side of your seat telling you forward facing, the minimum weight, the maximum weight, as well as the height limitations for your seat. So that's something to look for on every seat. The biggest problem you see with kids being strapped in their car seats that can lead to serious injuries in an accident, Marissa? Probably not having the seat incorrectly tight enough. You want less than one inch of movement going from side to side when you're strapping that seat in, or not having the harness adjusted tight enough to hold the child in the seat itself. All right, thank you so much, and thank you, Maisie and Mason, for being our models. That's why experts recommend uh, calling a car seat safety technician. A lot of the fire departments do it, a lot of the hospitals do it, and you can schedule an appointment where they will, for free, help you personally install your own seat, make sure your child is in their safety, and what better security can you get in that knowing your child is as safe as possible when you're in the, on the roads? Tara? Yeah, some, some great tips, Tess. Thanks so much.